Hello. Um, I had all these Reader's Digests from many, many moons ago. That's, and, you know, and, and, and I'm sort of flipping through it, you know, as, as you do. And um, I noticed there was some pretty, th th this is from um, January 1968. I was just looking through these and, and saw some of the really bad ads that are of the day. And I thought, oh, I, I can do some things on those ads as well, similar to, I do, to what I do with the album covers and all of that sort of thing. So, um, coming up are some of the bad ads from the January 1968 Reader's Digest. Come fly with PAL. What does PAL stand for? Oh, Philippine Airlines. I was thinking of video. <laughs> <laughs> Come and fly with our video. <laughs> so be our 15 millionth pas passenger. Well, these days it would probably be 15 billionth passenger. Toy with caviar and champagne as you watch a first run movie. Our presidential airline service makes you feel as if you're, it's your own private plane. And then you see that there are others wearing, oh my goodness, bad white suits and looking like he's about as high as the plane. Oh, things go better with coke. Oh, it seems that the burger matches the colour of the coke. It doesn't look very edible though. Even the bun looks slightly sad going to the right there. It's kind of, they, they decided that for, for most of the bun, yeah, we'll try, we'll do this. And then for the last part, it was like, oh, I couldn't be bothered. Maybe they thought that it was going to be cropped from the photo and kind of misjudged it a little bit. You have crummy and then yummy. And the difference looks like a plant. It's lustrile. Lust, luster, luster, luster. Something to do with lust and tiles. Mind you, some, some people would probably see that and think, oh, that'd be a bit cold on your butt, wouldn't it? It depends if you're on your butt, I suppose. I love the old washing machine there, the old twin tub. My goodness me. Craft French liquid dressing. <laughs> well, I suppose you could drink that, but I don't think it would be terribly advisable. Ooh. The best tasting salad dressing always comes from Kraft. Notice their, their um, logo hasn't changed for quite a while either. And apparently it's a wonderful way to speak fluent French. So you can obviously French with some liquid dressing. You can, you can do some Frenching according to this. Oh my god. Disturbing thing is that parking meter looks like a face. For cool, crease-free comfort, the action power is Terry Lane. <laughs> yep. It doesn't look like he's leaning. Oh, though, he's leaning on his umbrella. So, yeah, it looks like Terry is having a... Suit by Friedman. Oh, so 55% 50, Terry Lane. What's Terry Lane? <laughs> um, here's a screenshot as to what Terry Lane is. I think we all learned something there. So yes, Terralane. And if the suit doesn't fit you, you'll probably get done for uh, by the parking inspector. Oh God, Terralane. Sounds like a country, actually. It's like, oh, where are you going for your holidays? Oh, Terralane. Oh, whereabouts is that? Dunno, but it'll be a short trip. Ba -dum -bum <laughs> How did the chase Manhattan Bank economise? Build a building that looks like you're flipping the bird. <laughs> That'll do it. I love, I love the, uh, I love the irony of that being the, the new building being called Dole Flow Controls. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a drag queen name, doesn't it? I'm Dole Dole Flow Controls. Well, there's nothing better than flowing your control or control controlling your flow. 
Just don't drink too much water if that's a problem. Oh, you could have repaired it last weekend for $2 with Timbrock Hardboard. These days that would probably be advertised by, say, someone who was fifth runner-up from the block or something like that, or some handyman reality show. If it's worth keeping nails and hammer in your workshop, isn't it worth keeping a few sheets of Timbrock? It actually sounds like um, it might have been related to Peter. Peter Rock? Okay. Oh, dear. You could only get fashion like that in 1968. It kind of looks like they decided at the last minute to swap their shirt and shorts. Whose legs belong to who? And whose shoes are where? And what on earth is she doing? And is that... What the... They look more like a pair of sunglasses than bras. Oh, and you've got to have that built up around your hips too. Yep. But no, the B stands for Bradmill. I thought they were blinds. So the person responsible for designing these figure-hugging, knee-exposing shorts is a guy called Edward Fletcher. I wonder what those guys would think. It's kind of one of those old catalogue poses. Now look slightly to your left. Moody face. Click. Thanks. Eight healthy juices squeezed into one delicious flavour. <clears throat> keep, keep it down there, right? That just looks like blood. That... Oh, apparently it's the lively juice. Well, <clears throat> given the fact that it's struggling to keep the stomach down, that's certainly lively, but not in the way you really want it to be. So it looks like even the tomatoes are running away from her. <laughs> Zingy, wide-awake flavour. Well, the burning from the back of your throat wouldn't exactly make you sleepy. Oh, goodness me. That looks like the drink for vampires, that does. God, blimey. Coming to a zombie walk near you. Interesting that that doesn't actually say to us what juices they are. So eight healthy juices it could be all these different blood types. I'm now going to sit on the orange couch saying winding this up. That's from the 1968 Reader's Digest. Um, interesting stuff there. Huh? So um, if you like that, um, that'd be great. Give that a thumbs up and all that sort of stuff. I don't normally do that, but I probably should start, so I just did. <laughs> um, so there's a lot more where those came from because I've got a lot more reader dig readers' digests. There's not just one, there's more than one. Less than a hundred though, I, I think. I'll have to have a look. <laughs> um, over varying years. Anyway, you take care and I'll catch you in the next one, whatever that may be. Alrighty? Ciao.